Agriculture is essential to the lives of people. In Japan now, the industry is carrying out new initiatives applying the latest technology. Japanese strawberries have received acclaim overseas. In fact, growing them requires more workers than for other farm produce. Solving this problem is a harvesting robot, the first of its kind in the world. Using three cameras, it recognizes the color, ripeness, and size of strawberries, picks only those ready for harvest without damaging them, and puts them on a tray. The entire process is fully automatic. The time it takes to pick one strawberry is about nine seconds. Since it can operate 24 hours a day, the physical burden on farmers is drastically reduced. Behind the introduction of such robots are issues such as the declining number of farmers, graying population, and outflow of young people from agriculture. In response, initiatives using satellites are also being carried out. A tractor emerges from the storehouse. Looking closer, there's no one inside. What's going on? Tractors till the soil, plant seeds, lay fertilizer, spray pesticides, and finally harvest the produce. Everything is done without people. This tractor has a driving precision with a margin of error of 5 centimeters. Its ability naturally surpasses that of humans. Planting requires an extremely high degree of precision. You could say this is a driving technology that's sufficiently capable of handling that. That precision is aided by Japan's new satellite, which is also used for next-generation car navigation systems and disaster management. As a result, location services have been greatly improved, with the time needed to pinpoint one's own location shortened by more than half. Through that enhanced precision, they succeeded for the first time in the world in operating several robot tractors simultaneously, Work efficiency was also significantly improved, and it's become possible to carry out farm work autonomously on small plots in places such as Japan and Southeast Asia. In addition, there are moves to use image data from satellites to determine for individual farms the amount of fertilizer to use and the harvest time. Young people from overseas are also coming here to learn more about such advanced agricultural technology. Ricardo is from Colombia. I want to take this technology to Colombia in the future and help the farmers there. The population of agricultural workers is shrinking in every country. So, the hope placed on autonomous robots like these is very big. Exporting this robotics technology offers many possibilities and will also allow us to make international contributions. As the farming population grays and shrinks, cutting-edge technology from Japan is helping to transform agriculture around the world.